Hey guys, welcome to episode number 16 of OG Lego Reviews. My name is Tab, and today we got the brand new 2013 DC Superheroes Arctic Batman vs. Mr. Freeze Aquaman on Ice. That is a mouthful. Hmm. But what I want to talk about, of course, is the set. Now, a lot of people have asked how have I gotten these sets early. As I said before, my local Toys R Us here in Winnipeg, Canada has put out a lot, I mean a lot, of 2013 sets this past week. They put out Ninja Turtles, Ninjago, Star Wars, and of course the superhero stuff. No Legends of Chima or Hero Factory yet, but I'm sure that's going to be coming very shortly. Or they might be a little further into January, but I think they'll probably be out before January or very, very early January. As soon as I get them, I'll definitely review them and share them all with you guys. So that's how we got the set. Now the set here is 198 pieces. It's set number 76, triple zero, and it comes with three brand new minifigs. And I'm really excited to finally get an Aquaman minifigure that's not a custom or anything like that. He's an official Lego minifig. We got an updated version of Mr. Freeze. And, of course, we got our first kind of real variant Batman. We've seen the Black Batmans. We've seen the Grey Batman, the Dark Knight Rises Batman, a blue version, and now we finally got a white R2 Batman, which is cool. I like Batman in some of the different colored costumes, and this one looks awesome in special and legal format. So, as always, we'll take a look at the figs, the box, the accessories, instructions, and all the other stuff. So let's start off with the first minifig I'm really excited about, and that is Aquaman. So let's take a look at the King of the Seven Seas. He's so cool. He's got this really kind of cool tossed hair. We've seen this hair on the minifig sets in a couple different versions and colors. He's got his golden trident, which looks almost identical to the stuff that was in the Atlantis theme from a couple years ago, which was a great theme, by the way. I'll just take this off get a closer look at the details on the fake. He has little scales throughout the, the uh, shirt. He's got his golden belt, green gloves, and of course it's continued on the back with some more definition of his muscles. Now we'll take the hair piece off so you get a better look at his face. And He's got a really cool stern looking face and he even has double sided printing as well. He's got the angry face and the stern King of the Seven Seas look. Now the hair piece, I don't know if it really suits him as well as I thought it would. Like, it's still pretty cool. I mean, you don't push it all the way in. If you push it all the way down, it does cover his eyes a bit. So if you just put it on a bit lightly, still looks pretty cool. Like, you know, he's definitely the king of the seven seas. He's got this cool hair. He's tried it. And it's Aquaman. And uh, Aquaman's one of my favorite DC characters. Doing huge stuff in the DC Universe comic books, of course. If I have got him in Lego minifigure format it's awesome the next figure we got is mr freeze now mr freeze we've had him before a long time if you're lucky enough to pick up the bat cave from about 2006 and this is one of the first times we've got a newer version and this is definitely an improved version very interesting looking use of recycled lego parts let's take a look here this helmet of course is from atlantis as well but this time we got a blue tinge for a visor, blue colored visor, it looks very well suited for this Mr. Freeze figure. And we'll take a look at Mr. Freeze himself. He's got like some chest armor, circuitry, a really cool looking white face with blue eyes. His weapon, definite improvement. He's got one of these cool blasters, which you've seen in the Alien Conquest line in the minifigure lineup. And a couple extra attachments to it. And what I really like is this little blue transparent piece with this silver peg stud and it just gives it a really cool look like it's like a, a Mr. Freeze <laughs> ammunition chamber or something like that it looks really cool they did a great job on it and then there's some extra printing on the back of the figure as well just a really cool updated version of Mr. Freeze like it a lot so we'll put that back on and there you go now, of course, we got the Arctic Batman. We'll take a look at this character. It does come with the two Batarangs. I'll just take those out of his hands for now so we can get a better look at the fig. You know what I like? They didn't make it pure, just plain white. He does have some gray definition in his bodysuit. He's got his utility belt in white, the white cape, white gloves. And then we can flip him over to the back. He does have some printing on the back going on as well 
Now, of course, this is a traditional Batman head. And let's pop this off. And we got the Bruce Wayne with an angry face. And, of course, this white bandana here is what the eyes are when you put the helmet on. And on this side, he's got the stern look. The white helmet. This is the more slender design helmet, of course, that we saw in the jet ski poly bag from last year. And it's in the new Bat vs. Bane Tumbo Chase set that I reviewed a little while ago as well. So I'm glad they didn't use that big bulky helmet that they've been using for years and a bit more of a streamlined look. It looks really cool. Now, the vehicle that you get, Batman's little Arctic jet ski thing, is actually pretty neat. We'll move this out of the way and a couple of these figs to get a better look at this set. One thing that's going to happen, and this has happened with mine already a couple times, is this piece just loves to fall out. There we go. Just clips back in. But it does have some neat little accessories. First thing you notice is the cockpit here. Flip that around and you can take a look. It's got some little dials. Those are stickers all inside. Stickers on the side here on the projectiles and even on the windshield. We'll flip that around, you can take a look. It's like an aiming reticle right there. And of course, another sticker for the bat logo. So, now, this set does have the same blades that are used on the Temple of Lights golden mech, except they're in gold. They're smaller blades that go onto there. And as you can see, this part here, which I really don't know why they did this, but this thing comes off so easily. So it's just attach this red pig in there. That's it. I guess to give it a bit more of a dynamic look, but man, it's more of a hindrance than anything. And it keeps popping out when you just put any pressure on it. And so easy, it pops right off. So that's the one thing that's kind of fault in the set. It does have some more stickers for right over here. It does have a different type of flick fire missile, which I thought was pretty neat. You do just push on this, and as you can see, you got these little discs that pop out. And these discs have a transparent base. Sticker there, it's supposed to be like a, maybe a batarang of some kind, but it still looks pretty cool, and it fires pretty nicely too. I didn't put a lot of pressure on them because I just didn't want to fling them out and probably never see them again. But let's put those back. I have tried a couple times just shoot them and see how far they go, and if you push hard enough, these things have a crazy range. And they will go quite far. So let's put Batman in here too. Let's see what he looks like in the cockpit. Well, looks like Batman's taking a nap on his control panel there. Let's see. There we go. Wow. Well, let's see if we can get there. We go. Let's try to push him in a little bit, a bit deeper. There you go. Batman's little vehicle. Now you also get this block of ice here. Now what the big thing is, is this level. Right here, this lever that you push on, and it pops open like that. So what we do, is put Aquaman in here. And let's put this back on. Now you gotta be careful when you close it. You gotta make sure this is pegged in all the way. And there you go, Aquaman's on the ice. He's been blasted by Mr. Freeze, as you can see. So Aquaman's on ice. So, but Aquaman's gonna break out. All you gotta do, is that, and there you go. There's Aquaman. Pretty cool. Very simple little bill, but uh, it's effective and. It kind of looks neat too, have Mr. Freeze like that. So, let's take a look at the box. Box here. It's got a pretty cool action sequence going on. You got a boat crashed in the back here. You got Batman coming to rescue. I, Aquaman breaking through his little ice prison. You got some minifigs there. A comic book is included. We'll take a look at that in a sec. On the top, we got a pick of the Arctic Batman. And unfortunately on the back, just real boring. Just has this 
orange color in the back, no city skyline, nothing like the front, and it shows off the flip fire missiles, and of course these little heated engines that you can blop off as well. Doesn't have any kind of mechanism, you just basically push it off. That's it. Instruction booklet. It was a thick one. This is the instructions. One instruction booklet. Now what's neat, or not neat, what was interesting that there's none of the bags that have numbers on them. No but numbered bags whatsoever. Just three bags. And you just kind of pretty much open them all up and start building it. 63 pages. As you can see, unfortunately, no advertising for any of the other sets. Not at all. I got an advertising for the Lego Batman. Number two, DC Superheroes video game for all your leading systems. And right here, you got a cool little pick. Checking out Lego.com. And the Lego Club magazine is defending and blocking Mr. Freeze's Ice Blast. It's pretty cool. But it's a pretty fun build. I mean, not too difficult again, but the instruction manual is quite large. And of course, at the front, you got the Lego Builder. And getting some pieces put together to build your fig. So really the only thing that it wasn't too crazy about is those skis at the top here that keep popping off. But what I really like, of course, is this. Really cool DC Superheroes little comic book. It's the exact same one that was in the Bat vs. Bane Tumblr chase. So that was a little disappointing. But I got two of them, so that's kind of cool at least. Nothing different. It is identical to the other comic. But still pretty cool. So you got a bit of action going on there with all the new accessories and new sets. And of course you got this cool pick of the class of 2012. And the 2013 Lego superhero figures. Really cool. Can't wait to see the Robin figure from the Arkham Asylum set. And the Joker and the inmates outfits. And of course, Scarecrow, another Penguin, Harley Quinn. That's cool. We got both versions of her. Really nice. This was the sticker sheet. You got a couple stickers, not much. And this is some of the extra pieces that were included with the set. And that's it. Alright guys, I hope you liked the review. The set itself, you know, it's pretty cool. It's $24.99 Canadian. I definitely like the minifigures. That was the biggest highlight of this set for me, and I'm sure it's going to be for a lot of other people. The Aquaman minifigure is very cool. The Arctic Batman, and of course, Mr. Freeze, an amazing updated version of the figure that we've seen a couple years ago as well. So great job on the set. Definitely pick it up. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. we got more LEGO reviews, 2013 reviews. We're going to take a look at the Ninjago stuff. we got a couple more Ninjago sets, Star Wars sets, and, of course, Hero Factory and Legends of Chimer are coming up very shortly. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss any of those reviews. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.